Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd talk through five winter favorites that I'm really excited about re-wearing. As you know, something that is really important to me whenever I'm thinking about adding something new to my wardrobe is buying something that's really going to stand the test of time. So I want to be able to wear it year after year. So I've got five things, well actually seven, but there's five categories of items that I'm really looking forward to now that the weather has really started to cool down. So the first thing that I'm really excited about re-wearing are two of the winter coats that I added to my wardrobe last year. The first being this navy... Stella McCartney coat. I actually bought this as a 30th birthday present to myself. It was a little bit of a splurge, but I got very lucky because I found it 75% off retail and I absolutely adore it. The quality is just impeccable. It really far exceeded my expectations. It has worn really well. It does tend to pick up a little bit of Winston's fur, which if you don't know, Winston is our ragdoll cat and he molts quite a lot. His fur gets on everything that is uh, dark colored. But I just love it. Hopefully you're going to be able to see it. I think it's a little bit blown out in this light. But it's just a lovely oversized pea coat. I think the thing that drew me to this the most is the fact that while it's still a really classic silhouette, it does have that kind of boxy nature to it with this really oversized kind of um, boyish fit in the front. So that is the first item. And I do have a second winter coat which is this one here from Mute by JL and you will have seen me wear this so much last winter I absolutely adore the color of it I actually thought this was 100% cashmere but I was looking on the website and it looks like it's actually a wool cashmere blend so my apologies for getting that one wrong but I l really like the fact that this has this unusual um, I guess pulled elastic head shirt detail on the back here. I think it makes it a little bit different So it's got the belt built in which I think is fab. I don't love the way this looks belted on me though I just think this is a cool design detail, but it's just such a classic the length is really nice And I think that it's a very elegant understated kind of a piece so Definitely one I can't wait to wear again a load this year. Then we have my winter boots, which you will have probably already seen pop up in a few of my videos already. They are my Everlane Boss boots. I did own the Acne Studios Jensen boots a while ago, and I ended up selling them in favor of these ones just because I like the little low block heel and the fact that they have this silver zipper detail I think it just makes them a little bit more interesting however if you do want a good dupe for the acne ones Mark Fisher do a really great pair which I'm going to link in the description box as well for you guys but just a classic can't be a good pair of ankle boots and I personally really like a pair that has a pointed toe because I find that they are a bit more flattering on me they just draw the eye down and visually elongate my legs the next item I wanted to talk about is a good check blazer and I sort of feel like in, as far as trends go people have sort of been ditching the check blazer in favor of a neutral one however for me I consider this a really timeless piece and one that you could continue to wear year after year and I really loved reaching for these last year I feel like it was the check blazer that reignited my love of great tailoring so I've got two that I'm going to be wearing on rotation again for winter and this one here is from H&M and this is the one that I got probably late on in the season last year and I love the fact that it is double breasted I do personally really like a double breasted style more over a single breasted I think it depends on the occasion single breasted styles particularly in black I think are really lovely to add on over the top of a nice dress if you're going out or they look great with trousers however I find double breasted works really well for me when I'm wearing boyfriend fit jeans or a skinny jean I just like the fact that there's excess fabric there. <laughs> I know the quality of H&M items can be a little bit hit or miss and I have talked about this a little bit when I've done my come shopping with me videos but this item in particular is excellent quality. The fabric feels really nice and I like the fact that it is fully lined as well. That's always a bit of a bonus for me. And the other check blazer that I've got is slightly different. It's got a similar pattern, but this one is a long line style. So it is also double breasted, but I feel like it's more of a slimmer cut through the body and the fabric has a bit less structure to it. So it's got a lot more movement. This one is from Storm, if I didn't mention that already. And again, I really love this one and it is just so classic and neutral. The fact that the print on it is a little bit more subtle means that I can pair this one with other prints and it won't clash too much. The fourth item that I'm really excited about re-wearing for winter is one that I've actually already started reaching for just because it's an all year round classic staple and it is my black trousers from Uniqlo. These are the Easy Pant and I've talked about these 
probably ad nauseum now because I just think that they are so great, great value for money. And I think just a really good classic style, especially if you were looking for an affordable black trouser option. They are made from synthetic. I do wish that they were wool or cotton, but um, you know, I do think otherwise Aside from that, they are fantastic. They don't, this particular one that I've got doesn't have any belt loops on it, but I think the other ones that I've got in the navy window pane or grid design uh, do. So they've got this nice elasticated panel at the back. So they basically just slip on and I don't really know what else to say about them. They've got a tapered design. I like the fact that Uniqlo have an in-house tailoring service which you can take advantage of and it is free. So I use that just to get these taken up a little bit so that they hit me at the correct point, at least for my own preferences on my leg. And yeah, I just think these go with absolutely everything. They'd look great with the jumper I'm wearing right now. They look great with a blouse, good with a little tank, nice with that blazer that I shared before, great with one of those coats. You really just can't go wrong with something like this. And the final piece that I wanted to mention is my winter scarves. I've got two of these scarves from Acne Studios and I absolutely adore them. These are the Canada scarves and I have talked about this before. I think they're very expensive. They range or they cost around $280 now, which I do think is quite expensive for and what is essentially a winter accessory. However, I do think that these are great for more than just wearing as a scarf. Um, I think they've got a really nice length of them. You can see there's a lot of fabric. And actually one of the things that I like to do, especially if I'm cold, is I will drape it over my shoulders, almost like a shawl because there's enough fabric to do so. But I find that these are really good when you're traveling because you can wear them um, you know, just normally as a scarf when you're going to and from the airport, but then when you're on the plane, you can drape it over your body because it's actually, I mean, I think this is longer than the length of my body, sorry, but you can put it over yourself like a blanket. And that's something I often do, particularly if I'm getting really cold on the plane or if it's a long haul flight. Uh, but the quality of it is really beautiful. I do know that Cos and also and other stories if you're based in the UK, Europe and the US is also a really great place to go as well for a more affordable alternative. I, while I don't think you need to spend this much money on one, I can say I have got two and the first one I purchased over five years ago and I still love it, I think it still looks great. This one here I bought last year for my birthday and I think it looks like new still. So I wore this pretty much every single day in winter as well. Um, so yeah, you can't beat a good classic like that. So those are the five winter wardrobe staples that I'm really excited about re-wearing this year. I didn't mention denim just because you guys know I wear jeans quite a lot and I think you're probably sick of me talking about my dog to denims because they're the ones I would have talked about anyway. I would love to know what items you are really looking forward to wearing for the season ahead, whether you are now going into summer or if you're heading in towards winter like I am. And I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you then. Bye.